welcome back to the um tier list of the tier five monkeys monkey towers in balloons td6 um join my streams tuesday thursday sunday and join my discord where i tell you if i'll be streaming or if something's coming up i'm in quite a busy point right now so um i'd love to see you still though and we're going to kick it off with Cripple Moab. Hmm. What a tower. I think if it affects bad, it might have to be hiatus. I think it does. So on the premise, it affects bad. This is an A tier. Um, military power, just tower in general. Ice Queen Pale. No. Bloom Solver. That. Uh, I'm going to put it just above Bloom Crush. I think that's fair. I think that's fair. Elite Sniper. Makes all other snipers do more damage. Costs a lot. Gives a bit of money back. Don't use it enough. Not as much as I should, but um, a really good unit. I don't think any of the snipers are going to be outside of A, so get ready to see a lot of A's. And we're going to go. Maybe it's not A. I'd rather have a super glue. Better than glues. Now, I take back exactly what I said. It's the best in B. I'm sorry, I can't have that many in A. No, it's not better than these, so I think it. I think that's fair. Elite defender. Probably people's favorite sniper, and I can see why. There's so much damage. Shoots like a machine gun. Oh my god! Like put it on strong. Watch it. Hair through ceramics, watch it tear through everything. Does like 50 damage a hit. I don't actually know if it's 50 damage a hit. Don't, you know, don't fact check me. But I think it's about 50 damage a hit. Is it S tier is the question. It's cheap. It's a lot of damage. Screw it, S tier. The bottom of the S tier, but S tier. So we averaged out A tier for snipers. The Energize. Oh my god, this tower is amazing. Um, Probably my favourite ever. It, um, oh my god. I don't know what to say. How do I even, how do I even characterise it? This is, this is unfair. The text camos. Pops leads, pops camo leads. And when it gets energizer, does so much damage to like, balloon spam. Oh my god. And then it does cooldown like, if you have a certain thing that needs a cooldown, which um, if you have uh, your hero down, your hero is a good hero. Basically not Benjamin. With Benjamin, you don't really need to use the um the abilities, although you can. It it's so good. And just that whole line in general. Petit pois. Amazing. Crimson Strike, I'm not a biggest fan as many people. I know it does have so much damage, but it's so expensive. Yes, you're taking out a Moab, but or a Hitting the bad and doing so much damage, but it's so expensive. I'd rather get a Moab Domination. Would I rather get a Crossbow Master? Probably. Glaive Blood, probably. I'm going to say it's better than a Bomb Blitz. There we go. I think that's fair. In my opinion, that's fair, and that's all that matters. Sub Commander is also S tier. But probably one worse. There we go. 
Oh, I'm not gonna lie, guys. This the subs are really good, and that's why maps without water become so much harder. Sub commander, when you get the um the knowledge, can affect every sub on screen. Otherwise, it just affects subs in its area. This tower with 27k. When you up, I mean, it's not 27k overall. It's like 40k, but this tower thousand and thousands of dp like dps in certain situations does extra damage to moabs makes other things do extra damage to moabs makes other things have extra pierce other things i mean other subs that that's an s tier it does so much damage i s tier all the way carrier flagship is not s tier however Yes, it's screen spam. Yes, it helps other other towers do more damage again, which that's the only reason you'd ever get it to buff other towers. And if you don't think that's true, then um, you're wrong. So it's A tier. Not really. Is it A tier? No, it's B tier. It's below, it's below Elite Sniper. There we go. It's another money making kind of thing. Not really money making, I mean, but just buffing other towers. Kind of like Elite Sniper, but I'd rather get an Elite Sniper. I guess. Because Elite Sniper is not as expensive and gives money. Pirate Lord Yamzi OMGs. Three of them. And gives you the money for it. Pirate Lord is good. Pirate Lord is very good. Not S tier. In my opinion, I know a lot of loads of people S tier this tower. In my opinion, Pirate Lord is not an S tier. But it's doing well for itself. And I think I think the S tier is too generous. Let's just stick with an A tier. But where? I'd rather have an Ice Queen Pale. I'd rather have a Bloom Silver. Rather have a Crippled Mab, rather have a Crush, Bloom Crush, Moab Dominator. Probably better than Crossbow Master. Yeah. These things aren't exactly definite. They could like move up a bit in like three spaces either way. I'd probably say they're pretty accurate for, but how I'm feeling today is how I'm feeling today. I have a personal love for Trade Empire because I love that way of making money through the merchant ships. Especially when you like pair it all together, it makes like, you can get up to like, 50k per round. 20 ships that all do like a good amount of damage, can see camos. I think it's fair, they all get like a few k per round I guess. I think it's fair to put the Trade Empire and everything that the Trade Empire like does as a solid like I love doing it. I don't know how good it is. Probably say it's better than Pirate Lord. But it makes a lot of money. Purely for the money it makes, it goes there. Well, and the damage, but if it just had the damage, it wouldn't, but because it does so much money. But... Sky Shredder. This is the controversy. Why would you ever get Sky Shredder? Why? Yes, it has amazing pierce. It can do loads, but it's just... It's such a niche cut like power that you just get a just get a um <gasps> Okay, we'll have to sort that out in a second. Just get a not flying fortress, monkey ace, no not monkey ace. Uh Fourth tier for the Flying Fortress, bottom tier. Just get that. It's better. It's so much better that, yes, it, Flying Fortress is better than everything here. 
Flying Fortress does so much damage, it can take down a bad and just smile about it. Yes, it costs a lot. But th th there's a reason it, it costs a lot. Star Bomb. I, I, I don't use it. I don't know who does. Star Bomb. Yay. Yay, Zabon. Crash. Apache Prime. Very good. Not as good in Flying Fortress. Not as good as Ice Queen Pale. Probably there. Oh, we went down the line. I think that's fair enough. No, no more needs to be said. Apache Prime solid. And everyone agrees. Special operations. Unless you're doing a challenge, it's kind of trash. It's, uh, it's bottom of C tier, unless you're doing a challenge. No. Comanche Commander. I don't use it. I don't know. I, I've used it before, but I just didn't... Really. I used it before, I just didn't see it. I didn't understand it. So probably, probably a, um, B. I'm not sure. No, it's not a B. I'd rather have an ultra dog. Just above special operations. Biggest one can hit basically everything on the map. Quite a lot of damage. Solid card in the Aether. But where in the Aether? A, by the way, the, the A is weighted lightly. We're getting onto some bad cards soon, Nesh. Nothing's bad. No tier 5s are bad. The game's quite a balanced game. I don't think anything's going to be an A. Uh, I'm not 100%. From what I know right now, I think it's going to be an A. Biggest one. It's like Balloon Crush. So, probably just better than Balloon Crush. Pop and or I'd say it's just a tad worse than biggest one. Like a tad. And blue incineration is better than them all. If you don't believe me, just go use it and put it on a um a Moab. And uh you will see. Um I don't really use it much, but it can go there. Now, it, this does not have the Gartling guns. So, I'm going to have to voice them. Gartling gun one. We start with Ray of Doom. Ray of Doom does so much damage. And does, like, it's crazy good. Not on S tier, too much. Too expensive. High A. I can't say where. I would say, but I don't have it here. So we're going to say high A. Mad. Uh, yeah, Mad is mid S. And the bottom one, which is the... I can't remember the name of it, but the turret that automatically shoots by itself. Kind of Nexus Sky Shredder. I've seen. No, in, in comparison, no. So that concludes it for the military part. Uh, well, uh, come back next time, and we're just gonna complete the whole thing, doing um magic, and then uh support. So uh, goodbye. Have a fun one. Can't wait to see you in the next video. Leave a comment about what you're going to change. I want, you know, any comments are allowed. If they're wrong, they're wrong. But, you know, they can be allowed. Free speech and all that. So uh, I'll see you then. And uh, see ya.